This enclosure is a result of me just experimenting with a plastic tub. It's made by Sterilite. These are Draco portals that I got from Specialty Enclosure Designs. The screen vents I ordered off Amazon.com and I think they're two inch diameter or two and a half inch diameter. And this tub is 40 inches long and 18 inches high. The snake that's testing it out for me is a two-year-old Papuan carpet python that I got from Eric Burke at EB Morelia. His name is Moondor, and he has tested out several enclosures for me. He's usually a really good sport about it. That elevated hide is from Reptile Basics. Those ledges are from Mag Naturals and they're attached to the side via magnets. That light that he's looking at is an Arcadia T5 12 inch long UVB fixture with a shade dweller bulb in it. It does not produce enough heat to bother the plastic or burn the animal. I tested this out thoroughly before putting it in the enclosure. I left it turned on directly on some plastic for several hours and it didn't do any damage. And then I'm able to actually touch that bulb with my bare hand and it doesn't burn. The PVC perches are one inch PVC with one inch end caps and they're attached with adhesive hooks to the sides of the tub. The left side of the tub contains all of his enclosure furnishings from his previous enclosure. And this side of the tub is aspen bedding and it's kept dry. In the center of the tub is a humid hide with damp sphagnum moss in it. And on top of that is a black rounded hide that's covering the hole down into the humidity box. The right side of the tub has cypress mulch in it and his water dish and that side of the tub, I'm able to keep a little damp in case he likes that. I think you could easily make this enclosure bioactive or put live plants in it. I, however, am just using fake foliage in here at the moment. And while I do have some natural substrates in the tub, I don't have anything alive in it other than the animal. This is just an overall view of it and it was sitting on top of a four foot long enclosure, just as a reference. One of Moondor's favorite enclosure furnishings are these shelves. This is the hole for the cord to that UVB light fixture and it is not big enough for Moondor to fit through. The other holes are just air holes and then these larger holes have screen covers on them. I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of ventilation in the enclosure, especially since I keep this end a little bit moist and that's the end his water dish is on as well. This enclosure is in a room with an ambient daytime temperature of anywhere from 78 to up to 85 degrees. And then that drops down to 75 to 77 at night. This is sitting on top of two NPI cages four foot long by 18 inch high by 16 inch deep enclosures. And then next to a four stack of four foot long by two feet deep by 18 inch high boa files enclosures. This white plastic shelf or ledge is actually a soap dish and Moondor's had that since he was a baby. He still seems to be able to squish himself onto it and he uses it a lot. So I went ahead and transferred it to this enclosure, even though eventually he's going to outgrow it. Other than this first day when he was introduced to the enclosure, Moondor does not really go anywhere around that light. However, they do sell 
rectangular covers for these specific lights that you can include in the enclosure if your snake is bothering the lamp. Despite not having live plants in here, I do like greenery and I typically wrap the PVC perches with some type of fake foliage, usually some synthetic vines that I get from amazon.com. I'm out of those right now, so I need to order more. There went Moondor into his elevated hide. He does spend a lot of his time resting inside that elevated hide versus any hides on the ground level.